live a low life trying to mind my business i never understood mixing time with business i rhyme with swiftness and row with quickness trying to figure out what a nigga's gift is for all i know i could be good at this and if not i'll work at it until my shit pops like a soda can on a summer day but ain't no summer games i ain't come to play what up you guys maurice woods here and this is my last dance i'm jose corpsa and what's on my agenda for the day i'm gonna hit up the tattoo shop i'd also like to go to the zoo and you know, admire the animals that they have there in the zoo just because there were only so many animals that I saw when I was up in the mountains. Um, and then souvenirs. I gotta stop by somewhere to get souvenirs because there's a lot of people on my list. Um, you know, I wanna send stuff out to the people that help make this possible. Um, just for giving me money for graduating, you know what I mean? And um, just kind of like a token of appreciation and just, you know, thanks for the family. It's just a little stuff where maybe I probably bring them back little dollar bills or something like that. Something simple, because what they're gonna use that I'm gonna get them, you know, aside maybe a bracelet or something, you know, for like the little babies, but I don't know. We'll see what to do. I'm just kind of taking it all one day at a time. So I literally just got done meditating um, and I'll be on my way and I'll just share with y'all. So the journey, how this all go. This is like a skin wrap, but out here in Costa Rica, they say pura vida. I'm supposed to leave a wrap on my leg for about five days. Uh, water resistant, I can do whatever in it for the most part. And he assured me that it's okay, that there's blood in here. And that if I were to try and pull this off prematurely, that one, it might mess up my tattoo. And two, the pain might be excruciating. We'll see, I don't know. Cause this thing is really like, you can barely even feel that it's on. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, overall great experience. It was cool experience. He surprised me that, you know, he wasn't chocolate like me, but he, he was of melanin, you know, and uh, as you heard, like I asked him where he's from and he was saying Limon, uh, Limon, Costa Rica. And so I had just talked to a man that was from Jamaica and he was visiting from Orlando with him and his wife. And he was telling me that, uh, you know, a lot of the people that look like myself, a lot of the people that have melanin in their complexion, they live on the Eastern coast of Costa Rica because it's closer to the Caribe, uh, the Caribbean. Um, and I guess they just never really kind of moved from that environment. But he was also saying that that was also the case with Colombia when he went to Colombia and they started, stayed in a certain part. I, I forgot what part he said they were in, but yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. Uh, and he had locks, you know what I mean? That, that definitely made my tattoo experience in Costa Rica really cool. Uh, and just, you know, being able to communicate with him, being able to communicate with anybody in Costa Rica for me, you know, just makes the experience even greater, you know? Uh, this is random, this ain't even really related to the whole tattoo thing, but like, we always have something to learn and I'm still learning words in English, you know, and sayings in English and stuff like that. But I took it upon myself when I went and got my new manifestation journal. This thing nice, this thing nice. I, I would show y'all what's in here, but you know, it's personal. Um, also bought the alchemist in Spanish and I love the alchemist 
And so because how much I love that book, I feel like that would really um, push me to learn even more stuff in Spanish, you know what I mean? And then from there, like I had already kind of branched off into Italian and, and Portuguese. Um, so it, it, I think I'm gonna have a whole collection of the Alchemist book in different, in different languages. And the more I read the book, the more it's embedded in me to just, you know, follow my path, to create my path. Whatever it is that I set for myself, go do that. And live that pura vida. I don't know what the next video is gonna be about. Uh, I still have a lot of stuff that I haven't put out, but I appreciate y'all for tapping in. It means a lot to me. And thank you for the love that I received during this trip, during this journey, because this was not how I planned for it to be. But of course, you know, we don't have control over everything that happens in life. And so all we have to do is adjust and move according. I think I've done really well doing that and I've made some lasting relationships that despite them being in Costa Rica and me being in California, San Diego, or wherever I end up being in the near future, you know, uh, energy recognizes like energy, you know? And that just makes it easier for the energy to flow and connect as it's supposed to. So, you know, with that being said, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. I also want to apologize if my videos haven't been all souped up, you know, with the subscribe, like thing, notification thing that come up on the screen and all of that. Uh, didn't bring my Mac, was having issues with my Mac. That actually reminds me, I probably need to buy a new charging cable. Charging cable might be broke, might be the battery. I don't know, but can't edit videos the way that I would have wanted to. So I've been using iMovie on my phone. But like I said, I appreciate you for tuning in. And if you tuned in, that means a lot to me. If you shared it, if you shared any of my videos, that means a lot to me. You know, I've had people just hit me up and be like, yo, like I appreciate you sharing the journey and people interacting with my stuff on Instagram. I love y'all. I love everybody. I love everybody. Pura vida mai.